Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where we give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by suck my gold crusted ass. I cried because I was upset that someone gave me a bowl of ice cream that I asked for. But was this drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. This question was asked by Uranus Flytrap. Police officers of Reddit, what are the most ridiculous cover stories you've heard from people you were questioning? Stop a car for a traffic violation, male driver, female passenger. Ask for both of their IDs because neither has a seatbelt on. Driver says he doesn't have a driver's license but gives me a name. I ask him who the female is sitting next to him and he says her name is Danielle and she's his wife. Ask her to spell her full name and she tries to tell me her first name is Sarah. Ask the guy for vehicle registration and he says it's not his car. Ask who the car belongs to and he just says Gary. I ask for Gary's last name and he doesn't know it. Ask where Gary is and he tells me Gary is in Long Beach. Long Beach, California? Yeah. We're 2,000 miles away from Long Beach. Guy tells me Gary is letting him test drive it because he might buy it. They both had felony warrants and a few pounds of meth was in a fake keg of Heineken in the back seat. I was with the officer when this happened. Some kids were shooting bottle rockets. No big deal, but they were in an area where there had been some burglaries, so we checked it out. There were three of them when we pulled up, maybe 14 years old. Here's the thing though, they were pretty well cornered. On one side was a pond where we could easily catch them. On another side was a huge fence with barbed wire. And finally, there was one side with an unclimbable embankment that led to some railroad tracks. Like I said, we had them cornered. Two of them take off for the embankment and hide in the trees and grass, while one runs towards the fence. Well, the two that ran for the embankment were pretty well hidden, but Mr. Solo realised the fence had barbed wire, panicked, and decided to lay flat on his belly in ankle-high grass, hoping we couldn't see him. We walked up and asked him to get to his feet. Nothing. We repeat the directions. Do you know what he did? He rolled over, faked the biggest yawn he could muster, and started stretching this way and that. Then he asked, Sorry, what? I was just sleeping. The whole scene was too funny. So the officer and I start hysterically laughing, tell the kid he's not in any trouble and remind him not to run from the police. This kid really thought he could pretend he just woke up from a nap after we had just watched him sprint across the field and lay down. Good times. Called to the library for a loud drunken moron. I was going to give him a ride somewhere to sober up. Is there anything in your pockets I need to know about? I don't know. These ain't my pants. Not your pants? Nope. Pulled them out of lost and found and put them on because I needed some pants. What happened to your pants? I don't know. I woke up, my boys were gone, and I ain't have no pants. Pat him down. Well, whoever left these pants is going to be pissed they left their spice in the pocket. No man, that's weed. I don't smoke that fake bullshit. A guy I caught masturbating in a park. His excuse was, I took a lot of cocaine last night and I needed to check it was still working. I caught up to a guy on a highway going well over the speed limit. The driver was also weaving through three lanes. After pulling him over, the vehicle came to a stop and began to shake back and forth. I approached the driver's side cautiously and no one was sitting in the driver's seat. The driver, who was the only occupant of the vehicle, had moved across to the front passenger seat and argued that I didn't see him driving because he wasn't in the driver's seat. He went to jail that night for DWI. I'm Air Force Security Forces, Air Force MP. One day I got dispatched to a call about a guy stealing little bottles of wine from the Class 6 store, the store that sells alcohol, guns, car parts, tools, sporting goods, that kind of stuff. Well, I get there, handcuff the guy, get statements from the manager and cashier and then search the guy before I put him in my car to go back to the squadron. Well, while searching him, I found a total of 30 mini bottles on him. 30. 
I know our uniforms have a lot of pockets, but damn. Anyways, the entire time he's claiming that he didn't do anything wrong, he wasn't stealing them, blah, blah, blah. Then he said it. I swear to God, sir, those were water when I put them in there. Jesus must have turned them into wine. Edit. There was also the lady who shit herself, but then claimed she just sat on some chocolate. That's not marijuana, sir. I was just getting some chives from the neighbour so my girlfriend could make soup. <laughs> I didn't do heroin, I just fell asleep. There's no way my face was blue and I stopped breathing. The Narcan didn't wake me up. I woke up because I wasn't sleeping anymore. Now get the fuck out of my house! Person was blue in the face and lifeless. Close friend is an officer and he told me this story. They received a call from dispatched, armed robbery in progress at the local Sheets. It's like a 7-Eleven gas station but much bigger and nicer. Several units show up right as the suspect is seen leaving the Sheets. He matches the description provided by dispatcher. Suspect sees the cops and runs to the nearest gas pump, brandishes his gun at a civilian and forces them to get out of their vehicle. He then steals their vehicle and books it out of the sheets. Cops are in pursuit. A few miles down the road, suspect loses control of vehicle, crashes into a tree and then flees on foot. Cops are still in pursuit. They chase him down on foot and finally tackle him. Handcuff him and as they're patting him down, they find the gun, money and several packs of cigarettes he stole from the gas station. These aren't my pants. I woke up and uh, the, the gun, money and cigarettes were in my pants. They're somebody else's pants. You'd be surprised how often the excuse of these aren't my pants are used. His pockets also contained his wallet, which had his ID, not someone else's. Underage drinking my ass off freshman year of college at a house party. Cops show up, everybody falls silent except the guy who owns the house and his best friend. They're both utterly shit-faced in the middle of a game of beer pong and are very focused on that. Guy number one only has to make one score on the other guy and he wins. Cops are sneaking up on them, making the shh motion towards us party goers as they approach my friend from behind. He raises up his hand to throw the ball and realises that everyone has fallen silent because there are two cops in the room both staring at him. He makes eye contact with them, looks defeated, lowers his arm and one of the cops says, no, no, make the shot. If you make it, we'll just tell you to keep it down. No pressure, yells the other cop. Both of them are cracking up. My friend screws up his face, focusing hard. He shoots, he scores! Much cheering from everybody, including the cops. And true to their word, they only asked us to keep it down. Nobody got in trouble and it was awesome. So suck on that old ass neighbours who called the cops because they decided to move into a college neighbourhood. Oh. Got called to burglary in progress. I was nearby and caught the guy in the backyard. I cuffed him and read him his rights. He told me that he broke the window and went in the house to take the homeowner's marijuana, which was just harvested. He assured me that he had every intention of turning the marijuana to the local police station to get the homeowner in trouble. User Steel Shot asked Reddit, what secret conspiracy would you like to start? Nine out of 10 dentists is actually a company Colgate invented so they could boost their sales. The vaccines cause autism is perpetrated by Big Pharma in order to have kids get sick more often so parents are forced to pay them more when their kids get sick. If kids are immunised against diseases, then they won't require treatment for the potential chronic problems diseases cause. But Big Pharma is required by law to make vaccines even though they don't profit much from them. So they spread the vaccines cause autism lie in order to get more money. The moon is flat. What if the earth was actually flat but some people tied all the ends together to make it round? That's actually why old colonial age ships had so many ropes on them. It wasn't for the sails, it was so they could continue working on their massive secret project that was funded by the Rothschilds. The ropes were needed to tie the edges together. That's also why so many sailors were looking for an ocean path to the Far East. They needed ships over there so they could tie the ropes to both sides. That's why cruise ships don't cross the Pacific Ocean. There's a bunch of ropes in the way, so they'd crash if they tried. 
The government invented stamps so they could connect DNA with addresses. Airplanes don't actually fly. Governments across the world secretly build invisible roads in the sky for planes to drive around on. Think about it. They've got us right where they want us. How can we prove if they don't even let us out of the plane once it takes off? The roads on the Bermuda Triangle were poorly planned, and that's why planes get lost when navigating there. It stands to reason that chemtrails are not actually chemtrails, but planes' skid marks. Ask Reddit is actually a government tool to spy on people's ideas and plots. Oxygen is actually poisonous. It just takes 80 years to kill us. Everyone who's ever been exposed to oxygen has died. That's a 100% success rate. The idea of making a duck lips face in pictures was a conspiracy started by ugly girls to bring pretty girls down to their level. Reading Reddit shortens your lifespan. Uh oh. The government is actually controlled by aliens and they are trying to destroy the flat earth. Then they destroy the ninth planet that they created. Also, the government created cows that are actually robots made to look like animals and everyone on Earth are actually from Mercury. Also, Jupiter is actually a hologram, Saturn's ring is actually an alien spaceship orbiting Saturn and Venus is a cube, the Sun is a lamp and Neptune is a death star that is trying to destroy Earth and Mars is a black hole and the creator of the universe is Pluto and Charon and Mr and Mrs Potato Head are actually God. Okay. Back to r slash drunker a kid. So who was the person who cried over ice cream? It was... A drunk. Side story relating to drinking food. I drink a soda while obviously drunk and I cried because the carbonation hurt my mouth. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.